Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another daily video where we took football and Chelsea FC matters to be precise. In this video, I will be talking about Chelsea's projected outlook by the end of transfers, by analyzing the outgoings and potential incomings as Chelsea looks to get back their title as one of the best teams in the Premier League. First things first, a subscribe button smash will be a major boost to this channel, turn on the notification bell icon for more updates from the channel, and don't forget to hit a like if you love the video. With that said, let's get into it. With a host of players exiting Chelsea this summer, the Blues are expected to make a handful of new signings in the upcoming transfer window. After falling to an awful 12th place finish in the Premier League last season, it was clear a shakeup was needed at Chelsea, with new players set to arrive whilst many could say goodbye to Stamford Bridge. Ngolo Kanti, Hakim Ziyech, Kalido Koulibaly and Edouard Mendy are all set for moves to Saudi Arabia this summer, whilst Matteo Kabakic and Kai Havertz look set to not be included in Mauricio Pochettino's side next season. So, if Chelsea were to enter the transfer market with an unlimited budget, who could they sign? We used Football Manager 2023 to simulate the summer transfer window and find out. To complete this simulation, we updated the Chelsea squad with the latest contract situations and players, allowing Football Manager 2023 to then decide who the Blues could sign in the 2023 summer transfer window. We assigned an unlimited budget for Pochettino's side, and these were the results. Incomings, £497.5 million. Kylian Mbappe, Paris Saint-Germain, £197 million rising to £215 million. Joshua Kimmich, Bayern Munich, £76 million. Dusan Vlahovic, Juventus, £57 million. Christopher Nkunku, RB Leipzig, £52 million. Douglas Louise, Aston Villa, £39 million. Pierre Kalyulu, Milan, £29.5 million. Nikola Zalewski, Roma, £19.25 million, rising to £20.5 million. Nacho Fernandez, Real Madrid, £7 million, rising to £8.5 million. Chelsea broke the bank in the 2023-24 summer transfer window, with just under half of their total spending going towards bringing Paris Saint-Germain's Kylian Mbappe to Stamford Bridge for £215 million after add-ons. With a number of midfielders leaving the club, Bayern Munich's Joshua Kimmich was signed for £76 million, whilst Dusan Blahovic was signed for £57 million to join Christopher Nkunku as one of the new attackers in the squad. Two more midfielders were added to the Blues squad in the simulation, with Douglas Luiz and Nikola Zalewski signing from Aston Villa and Roma respectively for a combined fee of £59.5 million. And, more depth was added in defence, with Pierre Kalilu joining for £29.5 million from Milan whilst experienced defender Nacho Fernandez arrived from Real Madrid for £8.5 million after add-ons. Outgoings, selected £220.9 million. Kai Havertz, Arsenal, £61 million. Mason Mount, Barcelona, £47 million, rising to £56 million. Mateo Kavakic, Manchester City, £30 million. Kalido Koulibaly, Al Hilal, £20 million. Hakim Ziyech, Al Nasser, £19 million. Edouard Mendy, Al Ali, £14 million. Ruben Loftus Cheek, Crystal Palace, £11 million, rising to £12.4 million. Ndolo Kanti, Al Etihad, free transfer. Malo Gusto, Crystal Palace, season-long loan, for million pound fee. Lewis Hall, Burnley, season-long loan, 2.6 million pound fee. David Detro Fofana, Luton Town, season-long loan, 1.9 million pound fee. Faustino Angerin, Sheffield Wednesday, season-long loan. Gabriel Slonina, Birmingham, season-long loan. Cesare Cassade, Bristol City, season-long loan. Harvey Vale, Charlton, season-long loan. As expected, there was a huge clear-out in the summer transfer window, with Quartet Koulibaly, Mendy, Ziyech and Kanti all moving to Saudi Arabia. 
Havertz moved to Arsenal in the simulation whilst Mason Mount made a move to Barcelona, and Ruben Loftus-Cheek departed to Crystal Palace, bringing the total amount of sales to £220.9 million. As expected, there was a huge clearout in the summer transfer window, with Quartet Koulibaly, Mendy, Zeech and Kanti all moving to Saudi Arabia. Havertz moved to Arsenal in the simulation whilst Mason Mount made a move to Barcelona, and Ruben Loftus-Cheek departed to Crystal Palace, bringing the total amount of sales to £220.9 million. Although, Chelsea's new manager Mauricio Pochettino is expected to implement his system majorly, with youthful players as it has already been seen doing the same at Tottenham Hotspurs. This will give the young players a platform to showcase their talents to the world. Deli Ali at Tottenham is a good example of how Poch can transform a little-known player into a global superstar that every team is craving to have for their team. But since Todd Borley is a man on a mission and ready to splash millions for the team's success, it is likely that we will be seeing a blend of youthful players and superstars, and this could help develop the youngsters' careers as they will have senior figures to look up to and learn from. We will keep a close eye for the incoming signings and what the new era has in store for us. But most importantly, consistency and quick implementation will be key, if at all Chelsea will stand a chance to compete for trophies next season. For the past two seasons, Chelsea have looked to show glimpse of a title challenge at the infant stages of the Premier League, only for things to turn south heading towards the months of November and December. This has majorly been due to high numbers of players ruled out for weeks or even months with injury misfortunes. The likes of Kanti, Kavakic, Pulisic, Zeech are just, but a few set of players who could miss the larger part of a season with injuries. This lowered the team progress and spirit to keep fighting for the points, and often left Chelsea only battling for top four. For last season, Chelsea had to settle for 12th place as their problems became worse. A lot is expected to change as majority of this players are set to depart for other challenge. This will be Chelsea's biggest opportunity to bring in quality players with less injury history, as this will offer Pochettino the services of his preferred squad without limitation. What is your take on this video? Take your time to give your opinion at the comments section down below, also giving your preferred Chelsea lineup and overall squad for the 2023-24 season under Mauricio Pochettino. On that note, I have nothing more to add, but to call it a wrap. If you are new to the channel, kindly smash that subscribe button with all of your might. Turn on the bell for more notification on the latest news surrounding Chelsea. We make this videos daily and you would not want to miss them. Most importantly, give me 100 likes for this video as that would be a big favor to our growing channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a short while with another latest video, so stay tuned and bye bye.